Hi, I'm Nora from One Mind Dogs, and thank you so much for joining this webinar. Puppies are the best um, the world can give to us, right? But puppies, they all, sometimes come also with some spices occasionally. I think you all know something about that as well. My passion is to help people learn more about the dog's perspective and that way to get those aha moments which lead to a happy and balanced everyday life with the puppy. I have 20 plus years uh, of experience in professional dog training and coaching and I've helped thousands of dog owners. And there are a couple of common issues that often come up and I'll run you through them so that you can um, avoid them with your puppy. In this um, about 30 minute webinar, I want to give you, of course, some practical training tips. But most of all, I want to I want you to stress less. That's my number one goal. I want to give you the trust and peace of mind that you are doing the right things for your dog. And I want to support you that, yes, you can learn to get your puppy to be the dog of your dreams and raise it successfully. Training a dog might feel overwhelming, and sometimes it can feel um, that it's almost impossible. Um, but to be honest, it's not rocket science, um, but the challenge often comes from the difference in our perspectives. Dogs learn and view the world entirely differently than us people. So I want to bring you some clarity in dog training and the belief that you can do it too. And hey, make sure that you have submitted the form to receive the follow-up emails. I will send you some additional tips and content supporting your puppy training. And also I want to mention all breeders and your puppies breeders. Uh, we are going to publish a great offer and opportunity for breeders to make sure their puppies and their new owners get the best possible education. So make sure you are opening all the follow-up emails later. Okay, I can't continue before introducing you one very special dog, Tekla. Tekla plays an essential, an essential role in One Mind Dogs and all we do. She was the dog of one of our co-founders and the method developer, Janita Leinonen. What's unique about Tekla is that she became suddenly deaf, so she couldn't hear anymore. So Janita had to rethink how to continue with Tekla te and while training was a lot based on the verb verbals back then. Janita started to test and learn uh, from her dogs and eventually she created the One Mind Dogs method, which is based totally on her dog's react reactions. When understanding better how dogs view the world, training and even competing in dog sports becomes better and more fluent. Maybe the most critical learning was that verbals are naturally the least important signal for the dog. So think about that. And we tend to think that what, what we tell them to do is the most important. Um, ever since we have been sharing the knowledge um, that Tekla and many more dogs after her get, have taught us. And I hope you'll continue on this path and learn more about One Mind Dog's method and how it can make also your life better. Of course, we all dream about a happy, balanced dog um, and life with our dog. Uh, dogs bring a lot of joy and happiness, that's for sure, but only when they are well behaved. Unfortunately, the fact is that most dog owners Almost everyone have at least one behavioral challenge with their dog that they wish they would be able to solve. Even one challenge can ruin um, the, the balance and make the entire family stressed and hopeless. As said, it's not rocket science, but when you actually get the flow going on, it definitely feels like magic. In this webinar, we, are, we will um, go through five essential, essential topics and tips um, to survive puppyhood successfully and find the joy and peace of mind that new puppy can bring to you. Re remember that uh, preventing those behavioral challenges is the absolute best way to make them never happen. With that small and innocent puppy, you might think that um, 
it's it, like it's it, you might not think um, of any possible problems, but um, that's totally normal in that puppy bubble you are. Um, however, I warmly recommend making the effort now and start educating um, most of all, most of all yourself. So peace of mind, that is what we hope to give you. But how to get there? First of all, calm down. Trust me, you can do it. First, you just need to relax and try not to stress too much. I know that's a problem, uh, like a challenge for many. Um, you will not ruin the dog when you try training. Instead, you will learn something new each time as you do stuff together with your dog. And what makes you more confident is to have a plan, but not just any kind of plan, but a realistic plan. We uh, people often forget that one important skill, let's say a confident recall, it is a giant task for the dog. There are multiple different small parts um, for for dog to be able to do a confident recall. But it and it's from our point of view, it's a simple skill. It is totally unrealistic to expect the puppy or even adult dog to come to a recall in a park with other dogs if you haven't trained that specifically. So we need to teach every single thing to the dog that we want them to know because they can't read our minds. <laughs> Even sometimes it might feel like that. And then focus on one thing at a time. When you only focus on, on that one thing, um, you will first of all feel less overwhelmed focusing on just one thing. And you know what? The dog can only learn one thing at a time. So that is the key to success. The struggle comes from how to know, like how to know what is that one thing to focus on and how small that actually needs to be. When my dog's puppy training program is designed to make this as easy for you as possible, we have broken the skills into small bits that work best when building skills and when learning together with the dog. I will now show you an example of a um, training lesson or video um, from our puppy training program. Let's see. Um... So we have actually um, like made um, all the skills that we are we need to train to the puppies, like super tiny skills and like bits. And we have made it as easy as possible for you to follow the steps. And it's they're super tiny the, the steps. Sometimes they might feel even like boring or too uh, too small. But trust me, uh, keeping them small and tiny uh, that's a way uh, to, to make the, the success coming uh, after after all. Let's go back to the slides, yes. And here, um, this is your timeline with your dog. You can see that it's a long one. Hopefully you have over 10 years together, 10 years of fun uh, over, hopefully. Uh, what, is, what is important to think um, uh, at this point is that the better, better you learn, yes, I mean you, uh, to know your dog and to build the needed skills with, with it while it's still a puppy, um, the easier the rest of your life will be together. It's never too late to start, but still I would definitely make the effort now. It might mean that you need to change something in your daily routines, perhaps even your own mindset, uh, but it's all worth, worth it. Just trust me on that. What I tend to start with, with my new students, is that I want them to vision the dog of their dreams and specifically describe me that dog. I now ask you also to make a list of things and skills you appreciate or you don't appreciate in a dog and then break each skill into smaller skills and tasks. This part um, might be a challenging at first, um, how to know what is a good task for each like bigger skill but hey no worries we at one mind dogs are here for you and we are helping and like we are passionate help in, to help you with this so drop us a, a like message at any time in the chat or email 
because we really want to find together the the small bits that we want you to to succeed uh, when when going forward. When you have all these skills listed, then it's all up to you. Just build a habit of training and then just start training. Uh, here you can see again the timeline with your dog uh, from puppyhood to senior dog. And the things you have listed in your dream dog list, they will show up here. So this hopefully helps you to understand that more about the process of training skills for a dog. It actually takes a lot of time. So you should not expect your puppy to know different things um, after a day, a week or even months. To have a recall that you can trust um, in all situations is a possible skill for an adult dog and only if you have trained successfully all the steps required. The steps for a skill, for example, recall, which is one of the most important skills for any dog, can start the day the puppy arrives at, at your home. The first steps are as simple as building trust by being close to people. And you need to make sure you reinforce the in, and encourage them, the puppy to come close to you for some treats or cuddle and, and make the puppy confident close to you. And that is the first step for a real reliable um, recall later on. So this means that the puppy is actively approaching you, not that you are, do you are going after the puppy. And the next step or building block is to start training the name. This um, actually very often ends up being totally undervalued thing, the name training. People think that either the puppy knows the name from the mother's milk or that a couple of sessions of this practice is totally enough. Like now it knows it. But hey, I can say that the puppy doesn't know it yet. <laughs> I, will, I will now show you an example um, of this from the One Mind Dogs puppy training program. Let's see. Another video here. So here you also see how we have um, structured the videos and then uh, we will show this tiny practice with, uh, Milo. with Simo. <laughs> uh, Milo. Is, actually it's Milo, but um, it was the actor name for the Milo. puppy. So you will call the Good puppy boy. first and then you will feed it. So this yes. is the, like the fir first um, exercises that you do for, uh, for the puppy. And then we always in this video we focus on the because the details matter the most. So we are, um, we are showing how the dog is viewing the situation and what different details you should be uh, paying attention to. <laughs> He's just so cute. Uh, when I was uh, looking for these videos, uh, I couldn't... Um... <laughs> He's just so cute puppy. Yes, so now you can see here that this was the first uh, training for, um, for, for name training. And, and this is just the beginning of that skill. So these steps include new distractions while training, different distance to the dog, uh, or timing, um, or, or different things. So, when a uh, skill is ready, you have had to uh, train all the different things um, related to the, the actual uh, skill. And there are quite a bit of little steps that you need to take before you can actually say that your puppy knows the skill. All this might sound a little overwhelming or just maybe too much, but um, however, I recommend trying to um, a mindset that actually training is a continuous part of the life with the dogs. You know, we don't stop educating the kids after preschool, right? Or we don't expect them to pass the university after the sixth grade. No, see, so it's a long process of education. Next, I will tell you a couple of things to make, make all this more simple to you. With the dog, it all starts with having a great relationship. How to get started with that then? 
our perspectives are just so different that the more you can learn about dog's perspective, the easier it all just becomes. And then to get your dog to be interested in you and be motivated in learning new skills with you, you must know how to motivate your puppy. They are all different. So learn what the puppy likes and practice um, how you can be more interesting for the dog. And lastly, trust. A great relationship means that you both can trust each other. The dog knows that you don't do any harm to it or spoil the good moments. And you can trust that the dog is willing to cooperate with you. It's that simple, actually. And when you have learned all these uh, three things, a recall in the middle of dog play craziness is something that your puppy really wants to actually do. So let's set that as a goal for you. Okay, now we got to my favorite part. I'll now share you um, with you some secret of how to make all this puppy training super sim simple and easy. Use each moment with the puppy in a smarter way. So when you think about your typical day and, and you might think, where do I get more hours in a day to train my puppy? So it's so much, uh, but I'll share, I'll share you a secret. You don't actually have to do anything extra. Instead, change each interaction with your puppy into a training session. You all spend a lot of time with the puppy. You need to take it out several times. You need to feed it. And, and most of you want to play and cuddle with the, with the puppy, if not all the time, but at least uh, many times a day. So just take, uh, just make a tiny little shift in the way you act in those moments and that's it. You have plenty of training sessions already. The easiest way to make this action is to follow uh, the One Mind Dogs puppy training program and repeat those lessons several times a day. And and building routines for, especially for yourself. We all know that it's super difficult when we need to change something in our days and how we are used to thinking or doing things. And starting to train your dog in a different way is actually a big change to your lifestyle. So it's the same as in any other lifestyle changes. For example, if we want to lose weight, build muscles or learn new skills, then we need to start building new routines to make the chains last long. So my tip here is that transform now all the meals um, for the puppy into treats and use the meals and the treat as a treat um, in, in training, for example. And also when you are taking the puppy out, you need to put on the collar, go out of the door, etc. So each of those steps um, is a great training session you will teach the puppy actually to like getting and even running into the collar, offering a calm and patient behavior at the door, etc. And then know what you reinforce. So each moment you are, no matter what, you are reinforcing some behavior of the dog. You either reinforce good behavior or unwanted behavior. So I would ask you to stop and think for a moment when you are at home, are you reacting only when the dog, the puppy is doing something it shouldn't be doing? Are you putting the collar on it while it's jumping and barking and just being crazy? Are you and your guests uh, petting the puppy when it jumps on you? Um, or do you meet and greet each person and dog on your walks? All these situations are actually reinforcing the more the unwanted behavior and might cause uh, you some challenges in the future. If you want the puppy to behave in a certain way as an adult, you must be consistent with that behavior. Um, like when you are what you are reinforcing when they are puppies and they learn so quickly. So thinking about, for example, these situations I mentioned, uh, it's very easy to uh, uh, teach the, the puppy to uh, behave uh, as you would like it to behave. Next, we will go through five most typical mistakes puppy or dog owners make. I hope you'll get some inspiration from these examples. First of all, uh, approaching teaching and training from 
um, like with training the dog from the human point of view instead of the dog's point of view. This is the main, main reason for most mistakes people do. Dogs view the world from such a different perspective that our typical reactions, natural reactions for us humans, they usually are totally um, uh, the opposite for the dog. For example, uh, if we when we react in a way that um, we will tell them not to do something, the dogs can actually read read it as a reinforcement, and and then it will keep on doing that behavior as it will get attention that way. For example, jumping or barking. And then the second mistake is using commands that are not, or verbals that are not actually taught to the dog. So dogs can do only those things that are taught to them in successful steps. So do not ex expect or ask the dog to do anything that is not properly trained. Reacting only when the dog does something unwanted. So ignoring the good behavior instead of training the dog to do what you would like it to do. Sometimes this is like as simple as jumping up or against people. Um, if you only tell the dog not to do that, it doesn't tell the dog anything about what it should be doing. So if you instead ignore the jumping part and praise the dog when it's calm, it is calm and uh, calmly down and it's all paws are, are on the floor. This is um of course easiest start doing right from the start when the puppy arrives it learns very quickly and 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 the correct way of behaving in those moments and then it's offering that wanted be behavior to get even attention so that's the goal for 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 training um training the puppies that they want to offer that behavior you want them to to do Believing that dog refuses to do something on purpose. So basically we many times hear that the dogs are like on purpose, not doing what we tell them. And this is simply untrue. If the dog doesn't do what you would want it to do, uh, you just need to train the skills better for the dog. Usually it starts um, uh, from the next typical mistake, which is, a lack of motivation. So dogs are not passionate about cooperating with you and they simply can't learn uh, and, and do what you ask if they are not um, really enthusiasts um, to work with you. So you, you need to go back to where we started and talk about the motivation and about learning how you can be more interesting for the dog. Dogs need to see the value in what you are asking also. Like it's wrong to think that they should do it because I just said so. When the dog has a long history of being rewarded and um, for a behavior, they are more likely to perform that behavior also later when asked. For example, remember that it's important to show the dog that coming when it's called uh, is worth his time. So that's actually not always about stopping the game or having the lead put back on um, after the recall. If you feel unsure about this, so please let us know and we'll help you uh, because this is just so important to get these pieces uh, right. We have uh, multiple videos and lessons about this topic in the program and in our lessons um, where we always focus on the tiny details and they actually make the difference. And I will also share some video content in the follow-up follow -up emails. Here's a video about uh, some details about playing with the dogs. I wanted to show you as well at this point. Let's see. So we are also showing uh, tiny details of even playing. Uh, so how it should go in a way that dog actually enjoys it. There are many, many things that are um, are impacting how the dog is feeling emotionally when you are playing with the dog. And also there are some physical details that we want to share to make it safe for the dog, but also so it's more attractive.
go. And let's go back to the slides. Dog training is not about training a dog. I tend to emphasize uh, this sentence as I believe deeply that only when you can educate yourself, open your mind to some new thoughts and to a totally new perspective, your dog can learn a, a lot better. So it all starts with you and we are here to support you with, with that. And also, um, I want to remind you, uh, puppies, they can be a bit wild and sometimes a bit too much, um, especially in the evenings, I can say, with their uh, teeth. Um, teeth um, but hey, be patient with them. Uh, they are just babies and they trust on you and, and they trust that you educate them to be the best possible adult dog in the future. And often we have the patience to stay quiet, like um, talking. Often we, we have the patience to stay quiet instead of talking all the time for the dog. So the dog actually start learning better. So you will hear more about this topic or, and all the other topics in the follow up email. So make sure you have submitted the form to get them. Um, and then you will also learn more about like, what do I mean with this silence? Uh, as a dog training tool um, in general. And hey, we would love to hear from you. Um, drop us a message, tag us on social media, because we really want to be part of your puppy journey. And we love to, uh, to help you to, to succeed with your puppy. Thank you so much for your time. And I wish you all the best with your puppies. Bye.